To complete the definition of the mathematical model, we need to specify the boundary conditions. So we have the fixed end at the left and the load at the right. Let's specify those. I'll start with the fixed end. Highlight static structural in the tree and select supports, fix support. And we want to apply it to this, uh, this vertex here. So make sure that the vertex selection filter is selected and select, click on that and say apply. So, you know, so we've applied the fixed support and let's think about what's happened under the hood. So through this boundary condition, you, we have effectively set ui equal to zero at that vertex and theta z equal to zero. Okay, those are the two that we are interested in, but we also have the, the additional parameters. So we have the additional displacement in the x that's set to zero in z and the additional rotations in uh, y and in x, okay? So this is important and this is, the, the additional ones are important because you want to make sure that it's zero everywhere. And by setting it zero at this location, you know, it will be zero everywhere in the beam and, and we, can, um, we can check that later in the results. Um, so that's what has happened with the fixed support. And let's apply the, um, the load at the right end. So for that, highlight static structural in the tree, load, force, pick the vertex at the right end, say apply, and then I will apply it as components and it's minus 8,000 and the negative sign is because it's in the minus y direction. Okay, and if you wanna see the, um, the coordinate system, um, you can see it over here, but this will show you the origin too. So that's the origin of the coordinate system. You have to be careful because, you know, for uh, with, beam, um, with beam models, everything actually gets interpreted in the local coordinate system. In this case, the global and the local are, are, are the same, so we don't have to worry about that. But when you go to, um, you know, more complex examples, that's some, some additional thing you need to worry about. Okay, so that's, that completes the definition of the boundary conditions, and at this point, our mathematical model should be completely defined. If I go back to the, um, the PowerPoint slide, okay, on, on potential energy, so we have specified P um, and this, and we have specified the location and for the work due to the internal forces, you know, we have specified uh, all of it, um, so, you know, everything that ANSYS needs to calculate the potential energy we have specified, and we've also specified the additional displacement constraints. Um, so since the mathematical model is now completely defined, let's get ANSYS to solve it for us numerically using the finite element method.